Cortana has historically been a headache to uninstall from Windows 10, but thanks to the May 2020 update, uninstalling Cortana is now easier than ever. Here we'll show you how to easily uninstall and reinstall Cortana from Windows 10 using the PowerShell. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to uninstall and reinstall Cortana in Windows 10. For heavy Cortana users, the May 2020 update turned the voice assistant into more of a productivity app. While you can still control some things with your voice, many users would prefer to just uninstall Cortana. Microsoft used to make this almost nearly impossible, with most users choosing to just disable and hide the icon. Now you can uninstall Cortana if you no longer find it useful. If you ever change your mind, there's also an easy way to reinstall it. Is it safe? Since Cortana used to be built into Windows 10, you may have heard it's dangerous to remove a core cool Windows component. That's very true. However, Windows works fine without Cortana, even before the May 2020 update. Now, Cortana isn't integrated into Windows like it used to be. It's an app, so this makes it safer than ever to uninstall Cortana without harming your system at all. If you have any concerns, back up your files before proceeding. Uninstall Cortana. Even though Cortana is now an app, you can't uninstall it from the usual add and remove programs area. It's greyed out. Before now, you'd have to edit the registry in Windows 10 Home. In Windows 10 Pro, you could use the Group Policy Editor. As you can see, it wasn't the easiest thing to do, especially if you were editing the registry. Now you just need to use PowerShell. If you've never used it before, don't worry, it's really not complicated. Click Start and type PowerShell. Choose the PowerShell Windows app. If you don't have administrator rights for your user account, right click PowerShell in the results and choose run as administrator. Press yes if you receive a UAC user access control warning. If you've used the command prop before, PowerShell looks and functions in a similar manner. Next, type or copy and paste the following line into the prompt. Don't add or remove any of the spaces as they are critical. After typing it in, hit enter on your keyboard. This will uninstall Cortana. Please note this will only work if you've already installed the May 2020 Windows update, obviously. Otherwise, you'll still have the older version, which, as we've said, is much more difficult to remove. Reinstall Cortana. If you change your mind, Cortana's not gone forever. You may decide the new version isn't so bad after all. If so, you can reinstall Cortana at any time. All you have to do is open the Microsoft Store. Search Cortana and select the first result. Click Install to install Cortana. You will need to log into your Microsoft account, if you aren't already logged in, in order to download and install the app. Keep Cortana but disable. If you don't want to uninstall Cortana, but you're not sure if you want to use the app, you can simply disable it. This works similarly to how you would originally disable Cortana if you didn't use it. Press Control shift escape to open the Task Manager and open the Startup tab. Select Cortana from the list. Once highlighted, click the Disable button at the lower right corner. This disables Cortana from ever starting up when you boot your PC. To let the changes take effect, restart your computer. When it starts, Cortana won't start this time or any other time unless you re-enable the process in the Task Manager. You might also want to delete Cortana's log if you have no plan to use it anymore. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.